Oh, welcome Aries. Um, this is going to be your November love reading. Hope everybody's doing well. I am trying out new microphones, so I do apologize. I don't know what is going on, um, but it may sound a little different until I get the correct microphone. But besides that, we're going to start off with your reading, seeing what your blocks are. And then we are going to pick another oracle on what you need to reconnect with. And then we'll get right into your love reading. So this one popped out before um, anything. And it says, honor yourself. Honor yourself. Recognize the hard work you put into get where you are today. You put in to get where you are today. Instead of thinking how far you still have to go, remind yourself of all that you've accomplished and be proud. So this is what the block is is and then this is what spirit wants you to reconnect with participate do not confuse intention with entitlement the entitlement to demand from the world leaves you with nothing the world is rich and so are you all right so these are your two messages and then we have let it be if you need to solve a problem ask yourself what is the simplest way to proceed when you call forth the simplest path it appears and vice versa so these are your messages here and then now we're just going to go ahead and get right into your tarot and see what is going on oh we have the shadow Oof, the devil is here. There's something of like toxic around you for sure. Okay, we have the four of wands. Strong this is has to do with your family, finances. All right, something is feeling stuck. King of Cups energy, Cancer Scorpio, Pisces. Now, Aries, when I see the King of Cups in the reverse, this is someone who's lacking direction. Okay, they could be easily distracted or just like can't get a hold of their emotions, emotionally immature, manipulative. I mean, this en energy can come off very insensitive, uh, if, you know, when you see the King of Cups in the reverse. So let's see what's coming through. Yeah, someone's definitely lacking here in the challenge. All right. Okay. It feels like there, uh, I feels like there is a very big challenge due to someone lacking, maybe broken promises or not following through with something here. Something feels stuck. Something needs to change. And I feel here with what's coming in is a, an awakening within a connection here. It does look like there is a want. Um, let's clarify, because from what I'm seeing here is that there's something here interfering with a connection here or some, yeah, the shadow and something's feeling stuck, feeling like it's going in circles. We do have the Hierophant and the Eight of Swords. Interesting. Stuck in the past. Okay, so it is showing that for you, Aries. It is showing that there's something here that is maybe an old pattern or something to reevaluate from the past because someone here looks at you as you're supposed to be in their life. <laughs> I'm... But there is something also with the Six of Cups that I feel you may be holding on to very tightly. Maybe a message, something here. Let's see. The star. Oh, okay, I see. Something here about not being a team player. I feel like this person really cares about you they look at you as like i don't know like as a commitment even marriage for some but how this person is thinking is that they are not they don't feel like there's um they feel very frustrated they're thinking of this as like 
something is very frustrating there's a lot of time and investment but there's a sense of this person not feeling good at this time feeling like there's there's a miscommunication hmm. I feel like this person is unclear about what's going on. They do want to come in and balance stuff with you. Okay. There is a need for communication to release something and heal something from the past that's creating a toxic pattern in the connection. That may be something from the past for you. Again, take what resonates. It does, it's just in the energy where you are here, okay? But there is a sense of of something to where it's causing a big challenge and there's a sense of you feeling like something is lacking on this person's end but I feel like this person is is needing to because they're feeling frustrated but they're feeling also avoided like they're they're also avoiding something something about a good teammate not feeling like like there's something here that doesn't feel like it's flowing or working together here. And it, I'm seeing strong past energy, like something that happened in the past, maybe showing up now that it is that needs to change because something's stuck. And in the near future, there's an awakening, there's a judgment call, there's communication. And then we have this King of Pentacles and the outcome because it looks like there's an argument about this, a fight. This is, this is interesting. <laughs> it's just kind of frustrating uh, to see what you're seeing now that I'm kind of looking at the messages. It feels like you may have just given up on a certain part of the connection to where you're just like, I, this person just does not get it, right? Because even in the outcome, there's a sense of like someone still lacking with that page of pentacles energy. It's like they're coming up a bit spoiled and procrastinating and they have a hard time committing to things. So it does feel like a very immature energy as to why they're coming in like out of balance and unstable because there's a lot of growth that's needed. But something here is when we have this shadow, it's called materialism and dependence. So there's something here about this shadow where it's affecting the connection and keeping it stuck. So there is things that need to be addressed, but for this person, I feel there is a judgment call as an awakening to really trust your judgment and your choices in the near future to help release this Three of Swords, which is trying to move on from the past or what happened in the past. Um, but if it keeps something keeps coming into the present um, and it's it feels like this is what's keeping it stuck so i feel that's why spirit is saying let it be in a way like if you need to solve a problem ask yourself what is the simplest way to proceed when you call from the simple path it appears and vice versa but it also says don't confuse intention with entitlement um so demanding things right then it has honor yourself like you have came so far you have um came a long way in your journey to be the per to be where you're at today and so you are going like spirit wants you to be proud of yourself but that also shows you being wise okay and maybe more mature than this energy to where you are seeing certain patterns and things that this person is keeps doing but not fixing. Um, this could be also addictions too with the shadow card, but there is something that wants to come in here with the three of cups and the sun, which the sun is saying that this is a uh, this is temporary. Like the sun is the most happiest card in the deck, so it's such a beautiful card because there's like always going to be better days ahead f within this connection. Um, and I feel like there is a lot of healing and communicating something here, but also not forcing something either. So that's why I said spirits like just let it be in a way, you know, trust that trust and continue to, you know, go on your path. But 
this person needs their own, they need a lot of growth and they need to figure this out. I mean, it just feels like they want equal give and take with you. But again, the devil's coming up once again. Something's weighing heavy. I don't know what this is. You guys may know what this is in your connection, what the devil may represent. But it, it honestly feels like... I'm oh, sorry, guys. It honestly feels like there is a, a sense of materialism or something here about money um, that's weighing heavy on this connection. There, there's something here with this devil that's causing a lack with this situation that's, that's interfering. Okay. Interesting. But there is a want to heal this and bring things back to balance. It just feels like very like difficult times at this time. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see what this person has to say. Unworthy. You're a better person than I am. Commitment. I want you to be part of my future. Unfinished business and holding back. This person may have a hard time expressing what they feel. Um, it could come off a bit deceitful too, but it just feels like this person feels like they're, they are kind of unworthy. Like they do feel like, like possibly like they don't feel like they're doing something right. Uh, but they do want to resolve this issue and they do want to try to, they know that they're having a hard time expressing themselves, but also they, it feels like there's a lot of growth within this person. We will always come back to each other and I don't see this person wanting to go anywhere. I don't. I do see like somebody really caring about you here, Aries. It's a soulmate type of connection. It's just going, it's going through a very challenging time with a soulmate like connection. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So yeah, there may be a new beginning here that is starting up with you guys. Um, but things are needing to be resolved before this like new chapter starts because there is something feeling stuck. So it says new beginning, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So it's a very strong connection from what I'm seeing or who I'm connecting with. It feels like a strong soulmate energy um, that may have a bit of challenges here and who doesn't have challenges, right? But it has to do with a lack, a lot of lack on their end and how they're what they, they need a lot more growth okay like you can't just take care of everything this person needs to be that other part too there needs to be two people that make this work so i'm going to go ahead and leave this here i hope this message helped i hope this brought clarity to you and if it did please like and subscribe and i will see you guys very soon god bless